I'm using my Android to spectrum analyze the noises from this coil. As you can see it has a very high set of windings and very low um, gauge wire. You probably can't hear this on the video but it's making noises at those high decibel peaks. You can see my voice actuates it also. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to talk. I'm going to spin the frequency up and down and you can watch those decibel peaks move with the change in the frequency. And I will say it again. Each place you see those spikes is the noise coming out of this coil. There's no speaker hooked up to it. I could hook another microphone or an amplifier and a speaker to it so you could hear it, but it would feed back and disturb this display like my voice is now. So therefore, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to spin the frequency and you can see it. And I will interject vocally when the frequencies are low or high. I can hear the low tone in the green right there at 1.6K. I can hear the frequency going up in pitch. That range right there is very audible. That's in the 1.2 to 1.5K range. So, in all of the frequencies that I set in, this harmonic appears in this coil. Now, let me, let me interject here, is that I know that the frequency response of the microphone and the Android and display and the timing and the software and the runtime is all different, but no matter what system I use, in the accuracy or not, it would still show this level of activity in the harmonics somewhere along that range, it's okay. All systems recording this would show some spike somewhere. This is where the highest dBs come from. The way I have these coils set up are at 8 ohms, this pair in parallel, this pair in parallel, driving them this way. And I'm using a, a TDA2005 audio amplifier. So anything in the audio range is going to come through that amplifier and show up on this audio device. I'm not so much concerned about the frequencies outside the audio range. I could, but this still shows this accumulation with a certain range. Now this has 1.2K on the scope, on the um, analyzer. And the frequency on my channel 2 shows 1.2K. But, there's other guys that show up too. I will go back to adjusting it up. At 2.4K, there's a spike. But my scope only says 1.29K. 
So there's other harmonics appearing within this. There's one at 3.68K in the purple. But I'm only at 1.82 kilohertz. So regardless of what I put into this coil, there's other windows that I can operate for filtering out or in those same terms, filtering out the frequencies I want to feed back to perform a feedback loop. So I can drive it with one frequency and read another frequency out. And that's important. Because like Don Smith coil, he had a driver coil here, he had a reader coil there, so he could adjust this around to read the voltage level he wanted. Or, at a certain place where that harmonic would be the strongest, I could adjust this around. I have to put those coils on the, the driver and the feedback coil on next, and tank these up. and do these same experiments again. That's all.